when she said all that or whatever, my heart was pounding. Like I could hear that shit in my ears. Like I was so nervous, girl. So then after she said all that, she then was like, I've been noticing certain actions of yours and you know, this, that, and third. So my question to you is, are you gay? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Without further ado, make sure you follow me at underscore on Instagram. And make sure you add me on Snapchat at princham7895. So now today we're back with another story time and today I'm going to basically tell you guys in the honor of Pride Month I'm going to bring to y'all my coming out story time which is basically how my aunt almost exposed the bitch by telling my grandma that I was gay. But without further ado, let's get into this story time. Do you hear me bitch? I'm going to fuck your life up. I'm going to Dog, you bitch. Kick her ass! So in order for y'all to understand why I was in the position that I once was in, I have to take y'all back to the past, basically. I was originally born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. As a child growing up in Kingston, Jamaica, um, you know, it was tough. A bitch was depressed and, you know... Even though, yeah, I was depressed, I still find things to, like, you know, distract me from the world that I find interest in and that I enjoy. Now, growing up in Kingston, Jamaica, you know, yes, as a kid, I knew I was gay from a very young age. But I couldn't pursue with that sort of lifestyle. So, back home, you know, growing up, you know, going to high school and primary school and, you know, this, that, and the third, going to school in general was really tough for me because I get into a lot of arguments, I get into a lot of fights, and, you know, all the usual stuff that comes with being gay growing up in Jamaica. Okay, girl? Now, growing up, even though, yes, uh, everyone may or possibly did know that I was gay before I even came out and said that, oh yeah, I'm gay and this and third. I was once in the closet. So as a kid growing up, I used to be like really feminine. I mean, not used to because technically I am still feminine. Y'all see it. But as a child, I was crazy feminine. Okay. So, um, you know, growing up, you know, I used to dance a lot. I used to sing a lot. I used to be in the choir. Um, you know, I was always the lead thing for most of my, you know, choir experiences, um, and stuff like that. Okay, girl, a bitch had a voice and a bitch could blow. Okay, girl, ever since maturity though, ever since puberty hit and, you know, uh, you know, a girl voice start changing into this whatever raspy voice that I do have, things have changed regarding my talent regarding singing. Okay, girl? So growing up in Kingston, Jamaica, as a child, I would normally, you know, dance in front of my family members. They will cheer me on. I would specifically dance around my mom and my grandma, and they will always cheer a bitch on. Okay, girl? They would be like, get it, get it. They will always, like, you know, hype a bitch up, but... Technically, from what I heard growing up, I was a kid, you know, being a kid and, you know, they thought that I would eventually grow out of um, acting how I was acting. But girl, sorry to say, but a bitch is still the same, still to this day. <laughs> now, as a kid growing up, I never thought that me doing what I was doing was any issues because nobody really, you know attack me for acting or you know doing what I was doing until I started to like you know grow up and stuff and I was still like you know exhibiting those same behaviors and I noticed that my family changed from hyping me up to you need to stop that oh okay goddamn so um you know as I matured and stuff I eventually stopped expressing myself around my family regarding those feminine behaviors because it wasn't allowed and it wasn't cute uh they weren't for it okay girl and yeah so so as time went by you know puberty hit you know a bitch was feeling 
those hormones, you know, things was changing and this, that, and third. So during that whole time, girl, as y'all may know how puberty is or whatever, girl, you get the sense of horniness. You start looking at, you know, people and finding attraction to them. But the thing about me during that whole time, girl, when I look at girls, I don't find any physical attraction to girls i only always say that oh you know they're pretty in this and third that's about it i don't really you know i don't find girls attractive like that i mean i can say they're pretty or they're sexy or you know my girl megan and nikki you know they got the body they you know they look good i can say stuff like that but as far as you know kissing a girl and just you know touching or feeling some type of strong emotions towards women that wasn't in my caliber so that wasn't yeah that yeah girl yeah y'all yeah, get it my hormones was like you know developing and you know i was finding guys attractive and this that and the third girl so growing up i kept this all to myself even though in my personality y'all could clearly see that i was feminine all the way around but yeah As time went by, as I grew, and you know, things change or whatever, um, one thing led to another. We got to the day of when I came out to my aunt. So we're going to quickly fast forward uh, to that day because, yeah. So before I get any further into this story time, I just want to quickly tell y'all that for this story time, for my coming out story time, there will be different parts to this story time because it's a lengthy as uh story time so my coming out journey will be split into different parts uh it's gonna basically become a series of me explaining to y'all how i came out to my family members and friends and you know stuff like that so um you know as time went by you know growing up in jamaica going to school and stuff you know everyone is telling me how much of a gay ass bitch that i am but they call me you know batiman back home uh and stuff like that so batiman is basically gay in jamaica so yeah so they will basically you know tease me you know i was bullied growing up i got into a lot of fights bitch uh, i have a temper on me only because of my childhood <laughs> mostly because of my childhood but yeah so i got into a lot of fights and stuff uh because ain't nobody gonna bully me and you know i also had my friends too and my friends were like you know normally you know beat up anyone that tries to attack me or cuss out anyone who tries to like you know you know come for a bitch but yeah so i just said all that to say that growing up it was pretty tough i got into a lot of fights i had to stand my ground and you know be who i am and not be walked all over by anyone as time went by you know my grandma ended up leaving uh jamaica and she went to the cayman islands to live now during this whole time it was really hard for me because you know me and my grandma was so close like we were like we were close like i tell her everything i mean she wasn't really for the the whole gay this gay that i mean i act feminine around my grandma but like she just allowed it like she just allowed me to be who i am because eventually she had a hope that i will change so growing up when i act all feminine and stuff and everybody's like you know beating on me to like you know stop acting like that my grandma was never the type of grandma to like beat on me to tell me to like you know stop acting the way i was acting she was more like you know passive regarding it because in her head i was a child and this that, and third now again as time went by and you know my grandma left uh jamaica and you know moved to him and islands a bitch got super depressed even more because my grandma wasn't physically there and everybody else around me was always picking on me and you know i was always getting beaten like i, I was always getting my ass whooped by either my mom or my aunts or you know whatever the case might be now growing up in jamaica too i did in fact have like you know people like family members such as one of my aunts which has nothing to do with this story time but she will come up in future story times but i did have her which she was like my favorite aunt she is still my favorite aunt ever in life so my favorite aunt was my only aunt i could be myself around 
um you know my other aunts usually like you know beat on me to like you know change my ways or whatever the case might be and then you have like my grandma which is no longer there but when she was there she again she just allowed me to just be who i you know who i am so after my grandma left and she went to cayman islands to live to you know work and live and basically prepare um you know a living for us all like she takes care of the family in general and yeah my grandma is technically the breadwinner of my family so yeah so during that whole time you know i will either go over to my aunt's place you know spend time with her because with her i could be myself but if i'm not over to my aunt's place usually my mom usually sends me to the countries you know to spend time with my cousins up there and those cousins in the country i'm not close to i still to this day ain't close to and i really don't give a fuck about them honestly so yeah my mom would send me to the countries to like you know spend time with my cousins or whatever be around the boys because up in the countries there was a lot of boys up there while in the town area where i you know was born and raised um is mostly female so i'm always constantly around females all the fucking time so my mom and just you know family in the town always thought that i was always this feminine because i was always around female energy so in order to like kind of like you know mix it or whatever they would like send me to the countries where there's like my cousins and it's just a whole ton of boys up there in hopes to like change me in some way so going back and forth between the country and you know the town whenever i go to the countries to stay with you know my cousins and you know whatever I never get along with any of the boys. They would also bully me as well as, you know, like my entire family just bullied me as a kid growing up, if I'm being honest. That's just the honest truth. I was always bullied growing up. If it's not school bullying, it's home bullying. I was bullied my entire life growing up. So I had zero escape unless I would go to my favorite aunt's uh, house and that was like my only escape or if my grandma was like you know in jamaica at that time and you know she was around me then that's kind of also an escape so you know again when i was in the countries with my cousins and stuff they were all boys i never got along with them because you know the things that they do wasn't the things that i was interested in um you know growing up i also usually like, you know, put shirts on my head, pretend like it was hair and stuff. That's why I'm so obsessed with my hair. And that's why I love my hair so much too, because, you know, I always wanted long hair and, you know, this, that, and third. So, so I usually put shirts on my head. I play with dolls a lot growing up and stuff like that. And also, that was also one of the reasons why my aunts was like, you know, we can't keep this kid down here because they will catch me here and there playing with dolls. They, you know, they will grab it from me and, you know, tell me to go outside, go play with a football or something. Just do something manly for once. So back in the countries when I was with my, you know, my cousins and stuff, I never used to got along with them because they're just too manly for me and they bully me and we never get along. So even when I was in the countries, even though, yes, I don't hang out with my cousins, with my boy cousins. I will like, you know, go wander off to the bushes, you know, go up the hillside, go climb trees and stuff like that. That was the only um, manly stuff that uh, my family could agree that I normally do. <laughs> Stupid. But whatever. So, um, yeah. So climbing trees, connecting with nature, that was always something that uh, I love to do back home that brought me peace and happiness was Climbing the hillside, going to the bushes to go chop sugar cane, you know, climb the coconut trees, get fruits and food or whatever the case might be. You know, those type of stuff was my happy um, things that I would normally do. And also as well as gardening. Gardening was also a passion of mine, still is to this day. So now we're into the season of how this whole situation got into where it once was and how this whole situation happened and played out. So boom, let's go. 
So what ended up happening was as time went by and I grew or whatever, at this point in time, I went to the countries with one of my other aunts, not the one that, you know, bullied me or whatever. And this also, this aunt is not my favorite aunt. So just so we're clear, this is another aunt in the family. So at this point in time, I went to the country with her. So it was my aunt, me, and my younger cousins. So yeah, so, um, and my younger cousins was about, you know, four, five, six, around these times. So they weren't really mature. They were like babies. I remember this like it was yesterday. So we were in the countries, you know, enjoying ourselves. At this point, you know, my aunt uh, decided that she was going to take us all to um, you know, the riverside or whatever, just to like, you know, have a little river fun. If you're a Jamaican, y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so my aunt decided that she's going to take us to the riverside, you know, to go wash up, you know, go have fun. Just, just have like a little, you know, fun day out. So around this time, I was probably 14, 15, um, and stuff like that. And as y'all know, my father passed away, like when I was 15, the story time is up. So if y'all are interested in you know watching that you could go ahead and watch that so around this time me and my aunt and my cousins went to the river you know the riverside or whatever for a little fun time and you know as we were at the riverside or whatever you know we were having fun this time and third oh and i also forgot like my aunt's sister youngest sister which was kind of like my age yeah, so my aunt's younger sister was also there. My aunt's younger sister, which is also my age, me and her was like really, really close at the time. And you know, da da da. So we all was like at the river. So we were having fun, you know, this and third. While we were there, my aunt was like up the stream from us. She brought clothes because, you know, growing up in Jamaica, some people in the countries, you know, will normally like bring their. Um, you know, laundries to the, you know, the riverside, you know, basically wash their clothes there. So, yeah, so I believe that's what she was doing. That's why she was like so like, you know, far away from us. Not really far, but like kind of like up the stream from us. And we were like down the stream playing in the water and, you know, whatever. So as we were down there, whatever, um, at one point, my aunt, you know, she came down the stream just to check up on us or whatever. She then decided to turn to me and told me that uh, she needed to speak with me. The way she worded it and her tone, it sounded serious. So I was panicking. So what ended up happening was I ended up leaving my cousins down the stream to go up the stream to like, you know, go speak with my aunt. So after I got up there, I basically was like, you wanted to speak with me? She said yes. And then she basically told her sister, which is the one that was my age, to basically go down the stream to go watch my younger cousin. So yeah, so she ended up getting up and she left. Now, as we were there, you know, sitting and she was just making small talks or whatever. She was just asking me if I'm okay. So what ended up happening was... As we were there talking, she then popped the question on me. She basically asked me, like, I've been noticing your behavior, your actions and stuff you've been doing, da 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 So I want to know, like, straightforward, you don't got to lie to me because even if you lie, I'm still going to believe what I believe. So your best bet right now is just to tell me the truth. Literally, this whole time while she was saying this, like, my heart was beating because I knew that she knew that I was thinking exactly what she was thinking. So, yeah. So, um, when she said all that or whatever, my heart was pounding. Like, I could hear that shit in my ears. Like, I was so nervous, girl. So then after she said all that, she then was like, I've been noticing certain actions of yours and, you know, this, that, and third. So my question to you is, are you gay? Nope. So I paused for a little bit and it was like the world was moving in slow motion at this point because I was just like, I was really taken back. I was like, oh my God, like what the fuck should I tell her like at this point? Because I was thinking in my head, I was like, if I lie, she's still going to know that, you know, da da da, she's still going to think da da da, what should I do? But for some reason, I decided to just, you know, tell her the truth. So when she asked me that question and I paused for a little bit because I was a bit taken back. I was just like, yes. So she was like, so you're gay? And I was like, yeah. So I was just like, yes, I'm gay in this time and third. She was like, you know, she basically 
went down and we just started talking about a whole bunch of different stuff and this, that, and third. And she was cool about it. Okay, girl? She was cool about it. She was cool about it. So after we had that conversation, you know, she gave me advice. She basically told me about her gay friends that I never knew she had or whatever. And, you know, she was basically trying to link me up with other gay people to basically, you know, talk with them and see where we could go from there. So as time went by, you know, after we left the river, boom, 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 months had passed, months to a year had passed. And at this point in time, we were back in Kingston, uh, back in the town area. So what had happened was, I believe this one day, my grandma and my aunt that I went to the countries with, they both was like, you know, arguing a lot and stuff like that. Now, during this time, like I said, my grandma was not living in Jamaica. She was in the Cayman Islands. So with them, you know, going back and forth, it was like a phone thing. They were arguing mostly on the phone, not like in person. So during this whole disagreement between my aunt and my grandma, it was just a whole lot, girl. Like my grandma and my aunt had a really bad relationship at that time they hated each other <laughs> they hated each other and my grandma is like a christian woman okay my grandma is a christian woman and my aunt was not let's just say that so you know my aunt was cussing all these you know bad words and stuff you know whatever and you know my grandma was like you know her and my grandma was going back and forth now at this point in time they were going at it like i mean every single day like we're hearing about it my aunts will come around the section where my other aunt lived at in the yard space or whatever and she will like come to my other aunt and she will complain about my grandma it was just a whole chaotic mess okay girl let's just say that so at one point um i believe i was like at my this aunt that i went to the country with I was in her house and she was like, you know, expressing to me how much she hate my grandma. And she was like, I know you love your grandma, but like, you know, she's da 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 da. She was just going in on my grandma. Okay, girl. And no, my aunt that I'm also talking about, let me just clear it. My aunt that I'm talking about isn't my grandma's daughter. My aunt that I'm talking about is my uncle's baby mama. My uncle is my grandma's son. My aunt, <laughs> I know this is confusing. My aunt is technically my grandmother's daughter-in-law. Okay, let's clear it. Like they never got along and you know, whatever, whatever. And you know, I would explain the background to how we became a whole family, but like that's none of my business. And my aunt, she watches you know, my channel. I don't want to put her business out there, girl. I'm sorry. You know, we, 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 we cool. We cool these days. But back then, after that situation, you know, it kind of like fucked with me. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> As I was in my aunt's house or whatever, and she was like, you know, expressing to me how much she's tired of my grandma. My grandma is this and my grandma is that. And my grandma just keeps, you know, attacking her and how much my grandma doesn't like her and whatever, whatever. Like it was just, uh, it was a whole lot, girl. As that whole situation was happening or whatever, my aunt then proceeded to tell me that she wanted to hurt my grandma so bad to the point where she was willing to put me on the line to tell my grandma about the situation, the conversation we had like years prior or months prior. Um, she wanted to tell my grandma about, you know, what I've told her and she know that is gonna be the only thing that will break my grandma. You stupid bitch. So yes, yeah, so backtrack a little. So even though me and my grandma was, you know, close at one point and she wasn't one of the types to, you know, attack me as a kid growing up, you know, even when everybody else turned their back on me. But she's heavily involved in her Christianity. Let's keep it at that. But with me saying that I'm gay, that would have definitely hurt my grandma because she believes that a man should not be with a man or a female should not be with a female. She does not like homosexuals 
and yeah girl so she believed in you know the heterosexual relationship she believes that a man and a woman should be together should be in a relationship should should have sexual uh relationships it should have kids in the future and build a family not the other way around now as a kid growing up my grandma again she never attacked me for being feminine but with me saying that i'm gay that would have killed her my grandma and i had a past conversation where she told me that even though you act like this i hope one day you never tell me that you're into guys you're supposed to be into females not guys and my grandma specifically told me that the day i tell her that i'm gay it will kill her so i brought that entire conversation with me for years i promised from that day that i wasn't gonna be the one or i wasn't gonna tell my grandma that i'm gay or whatever the case might be so because i didn't want to kill my grandma my grandma was my everything okay girl so y'all gotta understand my grandma is my everything you know i love that woman and you know i did not want to disappoint or hurt her because she was the only one besides my father that believed in me so what ended up happening was um my aunt she was going to tell my grandma in order to hurt her she's not trying to hurt me in that moment she specifically made this specific she was like i'm not trying to hurt you but your grandma is getting on my nerves and since i have this information this is the only information that i know that will cut and hurt her deep because she loves you and yeah so i have to tell her that you're gay in order to hurt her but i'm not trying to hurt you so she explained all this to me like in that very moment i was just like what the actual fuck you're not trying to hurt me but you're gonna tell my grandma that i'm gay only to hurt her but at the end of the day it's still gonna hurt me like it's gonna hurt the relationship that me and my grandma had so what ended up happening was as time went by I was on, you know, I was walking on eggshells around my entire family because I was just like, at any moment now, my aunt is going to like, you know, tell my grandma um, that I'm gay and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do after that. Like, the only thing I have to do in that very moment was deny if my grandma ever, you know, come to me and, you know, tell me, you know, this, that, and the third or whatever. During the whole time, I was walking on eggshells i was nervous fast forward as time went by um my aunt didn't in fact tell my grandma that i was gay um she did pull me to the side one day and she was like hey i just decided that i'm not gonna tell your grandma that you're gay i'm just gonna like you know keep it to myself i was really angry in that moment i wasn't trying to scare you or whatever like she could tell that i was nervous and i was a kid too so why would you want to do that to a kid but yeah so after she said all that or whatever then boom i slowly started to open up more about my sexuality to the people that i was close to and i said was because we're no longer close but we still talk <laughs> that's it for today you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe join the family and like i always say make sure you love yourself and be yourself period and i'll see y'all in the next youtube video bye, -bye.